Welcome back to the Dynamo Show. I am your host, James Earth, the chief architect of WOW for a brand called Dynamo Entrepreneur. We support experts in living well and doing good around the world. And boy, do we have an expert here with you today. This gentleman is a friend of mine for a lot of years, many, many, many moons, and I've seen this gentleman evolve tenfold, okay? But before we get into what he's actually created, because he's the leader of a movement, we're going to talk a little bit about his trip to Europe, yes. okay? Mr. Nico Sofianos, welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's go to Europe. To Europe. Let's talk a little so, bit about this wonderful journey that you took your... You, your you want to start Europe or you want to go Vietnam, which was just before... Take it back to Vietnam, because I know that was very close to this trip. Yeah, so literally like, so we left 11-11. Yeah. Uh, you know me and my numbers, you know. Yeah, always yeah, Mr. Choose, Numerology. Yeah, I choose yeah. dates specifically. We left 11-11 for, to just really just experience the world. Oh, um, great. So my, With your little one, their little Athena. One. Exactly. Yeah. So it was more of a family trip and just like really personal, just to go and visit some family and just experience. I, I never had a... When, I, when we arrived in uh, Vietnam, I just, I'd never been... It was like nowhere I've ever been and like nothing I've ever seen. Really? I eh? thought to myself like, wow, what a bubble What's we live in. What's the big difference? Well, just uh, the way people are living. I mean, you see an entire family on a scooter, you know? Here, it's like if the baby's not in the car seat, mm -hmm. it's a like $10 million fine, you know? Yeah. So it's just not as regulated. Different world, Different world man, yeah. yeah. People are a lot, uh, they're living with, they're happily living with a lot less than we are. Humble. Humbly, yeah. yeah. I mean, I spent some time in India, so yeah. same thing, you know? And you just, India. You, yeah. India, yeah, you, you, you come back and it's, I mean, the gift that I received there was absolute humility. Humility. Just yeah. coming back with just a yeah. different view of how yeah. comfortable we are here. Yes. And yes. how the awakening is going to come real fast over here. And unless yes. we're ready to get uncomfortable, it's yes. going to be very uncomfortable. This is <laughs> a good point, man. Even though yeah. Toronto's so multicultural and like you do get to experience a little bit of each culture, you don't really have an idea until you go. I don't even think physically. a lot of those cultures even know their own culture because they were born here. That's true. This is very true. In fact, yeah, even I myself too. I'm, I'm first generation Greek, so mm -hmm. until I went to Greece to realize what I'm from, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, it's all otherwise hearsay. Yeah, but yeah, the the trip in uh, so Vietnam was just that. It was humility, definitely. Like mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say, it was also um, uh, kind of a pattern disruption for me. I tried going strict vegan, and I did it for 28 days. I did. Yeah. Oh. So um, it was great. Um, However, some implications, uh, I think, cutting off completely mm -hmm. uh, something that you're used to as any addiction, and I'll mm -hmm. use the word because food is literally addiction, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's the sugar or the meat or whatever it is that whatever we're is, indulging yeah. in in the Western world, we're mm -hmm. indulging. But anyways, I think the key was what I learned is, like now I don't eat nearly as much uh, okay. meat as I do, so like as I did. fish. Yeah, and just Red even... Meat Still a little bit, yeah. yeah, here and there. I'm a type O blood, so yeah. it's almost like I'm still doing yeah. my study and I'm learning how they say you gotta be careful if you're type O, you know, you're of that blood type that it needs the mm -hmm. extra, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm doing a lot more research. What I did realize is I don't need this much meat. I did become mm -hmm. much more aware as I started studying veganism mm -hmm. uh, of the animal, you know, uh, rights, you know, mm -hmm. and just the, there's a lot more. There's the spiritual argument, there's the animal mm -hmm. rights argument, and then there's the you know physical, biological diet aspect. Some mm -hmm. people are doing it just to lose weight. Like there's, yeah. there's many different reasons. Yeah. yeah. So, but or I. Or it's trendy. Yes. It's incredibly trendy right yes. now. Yes. Uh, like like yoga. But that's good because it's it's a step in the right direction. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. At least it is exactly in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, we all can discern and know truth so when something does get taken over by commerce and become a big you know sort of trend in business mm -hmm. we'll recognize it and then we'll reevaluate mm -hmm. you know so but yeah europe was a whole different world from it is i bet yeah whole different world socially mature is in mm -hmm. a nutshell mm -hmm. socially mature culturally deep yes mm -hmm. yes um just the churches and the buildings and the structures the cobblestone you know mm -hmm. squares and stuff like this it's just it's amazing much much to observe there and much now to europe be. is a big place where did you go so we were in germany mm -hmm. uh for the most part mm -hmm. little little town called Hagen in germany but then uh i took a trip to visit a friend of where mine where was that my family's from frankfurt okay uh, Hagen is uh, an hour from dusseldorf okay yeah okay yeah 
And then a friend of mine who I connected with, reconnected with, he was Mr. Belgium mm -hmm. when I was Mr. Canada, mm -hmm. and we were competing in South America. Okay. Uh, we were roommates, actually, uh, at one point. A few moons ago. Yeah, yeah, many moons ago. He's a principal of a school. He's also a musician. In Belgium? In Belgium, yeah. Oh, but a principal of a school predominantly focused on, um, it's like a prototype model school, yeah. bringing more music into their curriculum. And this school, get this, they open and close their week, Monday morning and Friday afternoon, with the whole school in the auditorium and then singing all together to the accompaniment, a piano accompaniment of the teacher, the music teacher. Really, yeah. So Harmonizing with the whole school. Yeah. To open and close the week. Yeah, and it was just like he invited me to come out and I offered a fit up uh, workshop there, which nice. we'll talk a little bit about later. Yeah. But uh, it was such an incredible experience because here's a guy who many moons ago, yeah, you know, like who would have ever known that we reconnect and boom, it was directly related to why I went to Europe. That's what I feel like. It was to go and experience what I did in its Ghent city that I went to. Okay, yeah, Ghent, yeah, yeah. Which is known as like the medieval capital. Yeah, they got a good soccer team too. Do they? Yeah? yeah, yeah. The medieval capital, yeah. it's known as of the world and literally like the castle, the churches and the, you mm. feel like you're walking through a 14th century, you know? Really, eh? Yeah. It's yeah. all preserved in a way. Yeah. So it was, it was great. I got to um, work with about a thousand kids. I offered nice. uh, yeah, my, my workshops. And, what age group? Um, everything, anyone, I guess anywhere from five to 12 years old. Mm. Um, and that was four different schools, about four different schools. I love it. I gotta say, I'm so yeah. happy for you, man. You know, like I've known you for Thanks, quite brother. a few years now. And you know, having, having gone through the journey of now having your own little family and stuff like that. But you know, it always wasn't as polished and as nice as it sounds right now, because mm. I know we all go through our stuff. Oh, Care to share yeah. a little bit about the journey? Okay, yeah. So it's for me been like a, a journey of knowing thyself, you know, so peeling back all the layers of who I thought I was, and that was programmed by those figures that we would see on TV. I, w yeah. I was, I was a, mm -hmm. what's the word, a very seduced by the music industry and influenced by yeah. entertainment in general, you know, like models and actors. I wanted that rock star life, period. Mm -hmm. I wanted mm -hmm. to be a rock star, and yeah. I was willing to do whatever it took. Okay. So... Not to get too much into details, but like there's a lyric from DMX where he goes, uh, I sold my soul and the price was cheap, but, uh, um, but not 50, but not all 50%, something like 49, uh, 51%, now my soul is more deep. Basically, what I went through is I gave my own identity, I gave myself at the, you know, the cost of myself to only discover that all I was trying to become wasn't actually myself, it was someone else. Mm. So for me, it was, um, I started off when, after I won Mr. Canada, I was offered a big modeling contract and modeling is very two dimensional. Yeah. Here yeah, I am, a superficial. gymnast background, like yeah. I grew up my- Functional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but then it's like, it all became about the looks and mm -hmm. just 2D. And um, mm -hmm. I got caught up in that whole world trying to be a rock star and, and, um, and now it's like I say, like, the only model I care to be is a role model. Nice. Well said, man. You know? Very well said. Thank you, brother. Especially to Athena. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Brings a lot of perspective to life. It does. Yeah. And at one point, to be honest with you, I said, I'm not going to have children in this life. I had already decided that. I would rather, you know, spend the life, de dedicate this life to inspire other children to not go through what I went through, to not wow. be seduced by... And the clever, the greatest gift emerges. And yet the greatest gift emerges and within it comes also like all of the purpose. Oh yeah. You know, and the fuel to really now step up. I like up. that word, fuel. Fuel. Clarity. Yes. You know, it yes. just brings absolute clarity when you have children. Yes. I have four of them myself, so. I know, <laughs> you I know. know, I know. Yeah, and having uh, a blast with all four of them and, you know, being daddy, super daddy. Yes. I love it. Yes. You know. The job of dad, I was just talking about this with, uh, with my lady the last night is it's like you become to a sentient being to a human being you are god literally you're mm -hmm. providing for you're protecting you're saving you're mm -hmm. you're you're it's so for someone like me who's chosen to go really deep into both polarities the darkness yeah. and then the you know the light yeah it's it's uh it's been a wow now it's like i've 
Now I understand God a lot better as a father. I'm sure you would agree. Totally agree. You know what our job is here, that sometimes it's like, yeah, I do love you, but I got to discipline you. That's it. Yeah, I can't, you know. We're guided. So, yes. We're going to take a short commercial break. Nico Sofianos, James Earth, this is the Dynamo Show. Stay tuned. We will be right back with Mr. Fit Hop. And welcome back to the Dynamo Show. I am James Ert, your host. We are going to keep things going with Mr. Fit Hop, Nico Sofianos. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this movement that you've created that's evolving so quickly. I absolutely love it. All right, man. Fit Hop is basically the best way I could ever describe it. And you know me, as long as you've known me, it's been changing, right? Like, what is Fit Hop? It's like every day it's something new. I'm sure all you entrepreneurs can cope, you know, relate. Yeah, yeah. We're always ever trying evolving. to, yeah, <laughs> we're always trying to de define and name our sort of David, our brainchild, yeah. right? But uh, the best is, it's the acronym that I, I gave it. It's a functional, integrative training and health optimizing program. Yes. And the P is program, but it's also philosophy. Um, yes. You know, what, 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 what hemisphere of the brain are we talking to? If it's the, mm -hmm. the program is more the left brain, it's more the exercises, the sequences, the, you know, the methodology. Uh, the philosophy is the right brain. It's more the, you know, uh, the, the feeling of what it means to, to be uh, a walking instrument, which is what we are. Oh, I love that, a walking instrument. A walking instrument. Yeah. So using that metaphor, um, you know, your body is an instrument. All you got to do is tune it and play it, mm -hmm. you know, explore it. Mm -hmm. And therefore what Fit Up ultimately is, is exploring movement through mathematical. And this is what I'm teaching the kids when I'm going into yep. schools. Um, it's, it's really understanding what I teach the X, Y, Z's. And, you know, that's yep. the axis of three dimensional physical space. So that then that's the fitness part. You know, yep. so that we have proper posture, we have, um, you know, correct form, you know, injury prevention. But then the, the th that's the three dimensions. But then the fourth dimension is music, yes. space, time. Yeah. So I bring in the music of hip hop specifically, hence the word f fit hop. It's not just hip hop, mm -hmm. but the, it's the boom and the bop, the yin and the yang of, of hip hop is what, and I teach them this, that, you know, here's your body, here's your mind. And here is the actual symbol. It's a mudra. Mudra meaning a hand signal symbol. It's yin yang. The balance of the mind and the yin body yang. is through the breath. The breath. So we start with mindfulness, just being yeah. aware of that. That your breath yeah. is is everything you need. And and then we finish the whole um, workshop, always singing the same little mantra together. And it's. I got everything I need. And they sing it back. I got everything oh, I need. I as long as I can breathe. And they sing it. Long as I, I got everything I need. As long as I can breathe. And we take it up. And I challenge them. And I, I invite them to come out and really like express themselves. I got everything I need. Got everything I need. As long as I can breathe. As long as I can breathe. And then we come down. I got everything I need. To let them hear themselves to achieve what I believe. Nice. And we finish it there and it's like, in between that, there's exercises, there's music, there's spoken word poetry, there's rapping, there's mm -hmm. dancing, there's all of that. And it's- Combined it. Combined and integrated, functionally integrated. As a brand too, it's so strong. Like, like fit hop, like you nailed it. Like, like the word, it right? Kudos to you, the word itself. Thank you. The Thank word you, itself brother. and the branding of it. You Thank know, you. It has such, um, empowerment. It, it, it's like you're combining two very yes. strong movements, hip hop and yes. fitness. Yes. Combining two very prominent uh, sectors. Absolutely. You know, so to, to, to you know, even, even in schools, I mean, having hip hop be so popular nowadays in like urban culture, yes. you know, it's something that they're going to gravitate and resonate with. Yes. Fitness and moving around, obviously, you know, they love their sports. They, right. you know, ideally, if they're not behind their computer screen, they're yes. doing something. Which is know? also part of why there's such an importance for it. Yeah. This is my why. It's like kids are Making becoming... fun for them. Yeah. And this is otherwise, all they know as fun is computer games yeah. and, 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 you know, that sort of interface. But we're bringing that kind of like 
to the to them like look you got to move and you got and it's fun to move it's even if you can't necessarily do all the moves there's always variations but yeah the word itself when it came to me it was like hey amen it came to me in a dream but at the time i didn't understand what it even means mm -hmm. but i learned to focus the gift of add creative fit hop spartan productions and alternate drive and destiny which is my acronym for add mm -hmm. something i really tie in and i, I speak it. to those kids, the ones that are the one that are, are misbehaving, the ones that are distracting the rest of the class, that are simply bored, mm -hmm. FitOp speaks to them. They're the geniuses. Absolutely, they are the geniuses, mm -hmm. and they're the leaders. In mm -hmm. fact, they they need to know. Uh, they need a role model mm -hmm. because the others are following them. And this is, uh, I, I think, my ultimate purpose is to help those those kids engage mm -hmm. those kids because. The leader can't lead till he knows where he's going. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these kids, that's what they are. They're leaders. They just don't know where they're going until they see a role model or somebody to inspire to. Want to play uh, a game? Yeah. So let's say five years from now, okay, you have an investor for a million bucks into FitHop. What does FitHop look like? I guess uh, five years from now, eh? Five years. One million dollars. Okay. By then, it's already it's tested and proven. It's gone from Europe now to, to Canada. I do want to really reach coast to coast. I want to really cover all Canada, but five years from now, I want it to be a world tour. A phenomenal. A world tour that literally features the likes of LL Cool J. Oh, nice. Hip hop artists yeah. like LL Cool J who already are in the yeah, fitness movement, cool. it, you know, demonstrating fit hop in its yeah. full essence. And he yeah. lives fitness. He lives it, yeah. yeah. Will Smith. Yeah. Will Smith, if you know, you guys are listening, <laughs> if somebody's listening who does know personally, yeah. Yeah, that, that's we'll the vision. We'll watch the Dynamo show all the time. Yeah, right? Why not? <laughs> Why not? We live in that beautiful day and time where we all can actually connect to this. It's so true. We're connecting. A network the online. human tribe. Yes, and a lot of resonance. I, I have Great utter law. faith that Will Smith or LL Cool J or KRS, when whoever it is, will at some point, you know, the only difference. Just cross paths. Yeah, the only difference <laughs> is time, space. It's like when it's time, it, it'll happen so mm -hmm. but that's the vision is a world tour featuring real renowned big names mm -hmm. in hip-hop mm -hmm. um, and and what we're doing is it's like a big concert mm -hmm. but then also in your city we mm -hmm. service we have different certified fit hop instructors uh, of course certified so like they know the system there's mm -hmm. a very specific format and structure that we're, we're teaching it and that's why it's so effective but uh, yeah, big show in the city, and then all, you know, kind of we dispatch all the workshops, mm -hmm. and then we just do that major city to major city. You know what I study? Uh, companies like WWE, UFC, Zumba, mm. uh, anything CrossFit related right now, it has stickability factor. Stickability, okay? yes, yes. FitHop has yes. stickability. Mm. Thank you. Persist. Thank you. Stay on track. Stickability. It, it, it has stickability. With a few dollars behind it, and yes. real focus and clear you know clarity for you you know as the the the, the guru the fit hop guru you know i totally see that unfolding amazing thank you brother i know your yeah. vision is very clear i know your imagination is very powerful i know you personally and i've seen what you've created or manifested i don't think we create anything at, at the end of the day i think we're vessels of the only yeah. one creator and I think we agree on that yeah, tip too. Yeah, yeah. But we I just seen... perceive it seven billion different ways. Thank you. That's <laughs> well put. We perceive it seven billion different ways. Yeah, Absolutely. Man. So let's say Absolutely. today's your last day on earth. Three nuggets of Nico wisdom. Share with our audience. Uh, three nuggets. One, don't be afraid to be yourself. Um, two, recognize that yourself is the reflection of everyone else. Good point. Um, and by that, I'll just kind of further elaborate because that's a little deep and, and philosophical. But those things you love and hate in others are actually reflections of what you love and hate within yourself. So definitely surround yourself and, you know, and immerse yourself in an environment that reflects your light, the things about you that you want to really shine, you want to bring forth to the world. And, and the last one is really that your body is an instrument. So tune it, explore it, and play it. I love it. Nico, how do they find you? FitHop.com is easy. Um, everything's there. We have uh, an entire discography page where the music itself is available that you hear cool. in the workshops. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. are all custom tailored. The anthem? Produced. 
the anthem is there as well. <laughs> that's <laughs> how, yeah, that's how we met. Old you saw school, that video. Man. Yeah, that's great. Yep. So, so thank you so, so much for tuning into the Dynamo Show. I'm here with Nico Sofianos. I am James Ert. Once again, very, very grateful for having you tune in with us, and we will see you on episode number 44.